everybody, Guitar Man 3YZ here. This is going to be a quick video to, uh, I'm going to share something about the inside of this guitar. This is my Jackson JS11 Dinky guitar that I bought to use as a project. And a couple of videos back, I did a review of it and a demo of how it sounds and everything. But, uh, just the other day, I was getting ready to start working on it, and got ready. I took the control cover off here and took the back panel off here, and I just got to say, it blew me away what I saw for such a cheap guitar. This guitar being only, it retails for $149.95, I got it for $140. But uh, yeah, most thing, most everybody's selling it for one forty nine ninety five, and it is well worth it. And you'll find out as soon as I show you what's inside here. So as you can see, I've got the control cover or uh, the uh, trim cover off of the back. And what what I say that blew me away is look at that block. That is no hundred and fifty dollar. Guitar ordinary block. Most uh, import guitars, the Squires, the Yamaha, the uh, Bullets, Infinities, all have the little thin, cheap zinc blocks that are usually just garbage. I always throw them away, and that's one of the things I wanted, was planning on doing on this guitar. I thought, you know, I'm gonna have to get me a full block for this guitar. But lo and behold, no, I don't need one. I'm gonna keep this block. It's really nice and um, check out that spring claw that's actually either brass or bronze or something I'm not sure what what they're thinking with that I don't know any purpose of having a solid brass claw but it looks kind of cool <laughs> I know with Jackson and Charvel used a lot of brass my 1983 Charvel had a brass block brass saddles and I believe it had a brass claw also and these springs are really nice. They're not just the regular old, the metal springs. It feels like they've actually got some kind of coating, coating on them. And then also looking in the cavity here, you can see that it's actually been shielded on the back of the, the covers, have aluminum foil or some kind of conductive foil. And they even did it on the back of the trim cover, which is strange. I don't know why they would do that, but it's actually been painted with the shielding paint the whole bottom of the control cavity is painted with shielding paint and they've actually even ran it up to the screw hole right there in the back so it'll actually connect with the conductive foil on the back of the cover so it will make a shielding thing kind of sloppily done they should have done it all on the sides too they just did the very bottom if I had some shielding paint, I would go ahead and finish it off and put it all around the sides, which I might do. But at least it's pretty nice. Most cheap guitars wouldn't do that. So if you're looking for a nice guitar with a lot of nice features and for a nice price, say this was $149.95, I think they have a JS-12 which is like 189 or 199 just the exact same guitar but with 24 frets and then they have the more expensive ones i'm sure they're all just as good as quality as this one if, i mean if they're going to go to all the trouble to making their cheapest one the most basic one with as great a quality as this i'm sure all the other ones are really great guitars so, so if you like this video hit the like button if you want to subscribe, subscribe and be sure and hit all the notifications. And I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.